Well, I'm off for a little walk this evening with the wife. We're going down to the beach. There's a nice little beach on the border with Gibraltar there. I think we've been there before, loads of times, but I don't know if I made a video down there. Might have done, I can't remember. What have you been up to, Fiona? Oh, not much. Cleaning, again. Cleaning, cleaning, all the time. A noisy seagull. Yeah, there's one of them's got a grudge against me because I told him to get off the fucking boat. And it's got a very distinctive screech. And it, it sees me come out and it comes circling and swooping. I'm going to get a tennis racket. I know what you want to do, but I'm going to get a tennis racket and I'm going to bloody get it next time it comes near. I got, got, I got, I got one swooped on me once and hit me Ooh. in the back of the head. Yeah, it was all blood. I thought I'd been coshed by someone. And I went like that, and the feathers were right there. And I wasn't quick enough to grab it, otherwise I'd have snapped its neck, I tell you. <laughs> uh, and, and I had blood coming, pouring down the side of my head. It stuck its beak straight in the back of my head. Yeah. It didn't even didn't even know it was coming, you know. It was just was outside there. Uh, she went crazy. She attacked quite a few people. They reckon that she'd had a nest on the top of trade winds. Uh, and one of the maintenance guys had just like binned the nest with the eggs and she went off her head and she started dive bombing and, um, either that or she doesn't like dolphin adventure because it seemed to be outside their office a lot of the time <laughs> yeah well you go up the rock I, last time I went to the 100 ton gun to make a video they were swooping on me there they had to wave my crash helmet in the air to ward them off I'm going to get a big bird of prey, a really convincing one, because they, they stay away. Like an owl or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. I mean, I love them. They're gorgeous birds. But why? where's the aggression? What have I ever done to this guy? What's his problem with me? <laughs> I, I'm serious. I mean, the other night when there was that big thunderstorm, about two o'clock in the morning. Look, you're in the middle of the road. Can we get run over? Two o'clock in the morning, there was a huge thunderstorm going on, hundreds of miles away. We couldn't even hear the thunder, but we could see the lightning. Like, it was crazy lightning. So me and the cat were up on the roof, and this seagull just, it woke up, it went, there she is, fucking ate her, and it was... It was coming in and attacking me and the cat. And, and it went for the cat the other... That was why I went and shouted at it, because it, the cat was frightened. Cats aren't supposed to be frightened of birds. No, I, I, I don't know what it is with Spanish bins, but they uh, they self-empty in the wind. The bin bag blows inside out, and then they throw all the rubbish all over the floor. Brilliant design. <laughs> Not. Yeah, that's the border right there, that fence. This is the Spanish side and the other side. Obviously that's Gibraltar. Do you remember the kids finding it really funny because some Siggy smugglers came along and they were tossing boxes? Yeah, I haven't seen them for ages. I haven't seen them for ages. Well, no one does it anymore. I haven't seen them. Don't even get the old hens at the border doing it anymore. You know, that is the worst shit that people can leave lying around. Yeah. Speaking of seagulls, we just took that off a seagull. Baby one. It was wrapped around its leg. Yeah, Graham got and it And loads off. of animals get tangled up in old fishing line. Do you remember when we had a, found a dolphin with a load of it in its mouth? Yeah, I've still got the newspaper cutting. I've got a picture of it anyway. I want to go around the other side where we're not allowed, apparently. Let's have a look over the wall. I just have. I mean, I've been on that road before, but I've never been right round the harbour off. They're not developing anything at the moment. They used to land helicopters here. I remember yeah. before the hospital helipad opened, they used to meet the ambulances here. They used to land here. Well, they're getting it ready for developing, but they don't yes. seem to be doing anything, do they? I said to the dude in charge, are they going to make anything useful? And he went, no. <laughs> I said, so no Leroy Merlin, B&Q? He went, no. As many candles as you can buy and oh, shit like that. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's what this town needs is a DIY centre. We all have to go over to Labario. Yeah. Which is a hell of a... I know it's not far, 
But it's a hell of a road journey, isn't it? It is. Just to go and buy one little thing. Yeah, quite a nice walk. We didn't go to the beach in the end, there was too many people there. Oh, it's really packed for a little beach. We could walk around and see if there's a way in on the other side. There might be. The last time one of the kids went round, not that long ago, some security guard came out shouting, saying, oh, there's development going on. But there is no development going on. Nothing has happened in over a year. Not yet. They're supposed to be building a port for an ocean liner terminal. That was all the talk. Yeah. Well, I, I suspect they're going to do that because when the border goes, that makes sense, but that's going to piss Gibraltar off. They'll want off. to compete with mm. Gibraltar. Yeah. No, we can't get in. You've got, you've got to climb over the fence and the tall fence off. Maybe when I was younger I'd have thought nothing of jumping over the fence and wandering off. So they used to go on bike rides before the fence was there. They used to be able to cycle all the way down to the end of the mole. It's like a little lighthouse at the end of the mole. Police are coming. <laughs> They're always here. Not stopping for a beer today. I don't know. Oh yeah, maybe they are. Oh no. Are well, we going checking on the uh, the camper vans? Maybe. So loads. This is this is one of the places camper vans can come and uh, park up for a few days and nights. And uh, it's quite busy. There's quite a lot of them. They're always that coming and going. It's chocker block. You got fancy a G&T, don't you? No, I don't. Not in there. Not tonight. 